students in the last lecture about the dry cell and lead storage battery or lead accumulator we have studied and we have studied that is lead storage battery or lead accumulator is secondary reversible galvanic cell while dry cell is primary irreversible voltaic or galvanic cell and we have studied some other points like construction of dry cell then working of dry cell reaction taking place during the working so that we have studied in lead accumulator and so how it works that is the reaction takes place during the discharging and reactions take place during the charging today we are to study some another common type of cells that is the nickel cadmium cell then we will study about the mercury battery or mercury cell and fuel cell here see it is a secondary dry cell it is a secondary dry cell why secondary because this cell can be recharged this cell can be recharged if external emf applied to this cell is greater than this cell then cell reactions can be reversed and therefore it can be recharged in this cell cadmium metal rod is act as anode and nickel dioxide supported on nickel that is act as cathode both electrodes are placed in the same that is the alkali electrolyte is alkali it is same electrolyte it is alkali and therefore here we have to study now working of the cell cell reactions taking place during the working so here see during the working reaction taking place at anode reaction taking place at cathode net cell reaction and we have to study also what is the emf of this cell and applications or uses of this cell so see anode is made up of cadmium which is placed in alkali so that anode cadmium react with alkali hydroxyl ions of alkali it undergoes the oxidation to produce as the cadmium ion first of all cadmium plus 2 ion with the loss of two electrons and it combines with that hydroxyl ion to produce cadmium hydroxide so loss of two electron this is anodic oxidation this reaction is anodic oxidation reaction then reaction taking place at cathode at cathode nio2 nickel dioxide undergoes reduction by reacting it with water and gains the electron so gain of electron is reduction is reaction me electron accept hote so that uh, nio2 accept the electron therefore it undergoes the reduction and reacts with water to form nickel hydroxide and hydroxyl ion now net cell reaction overall cell reaction when we combine the anodic oxidation and cathodic reduction then that reaction obtain is overall cell reaction or it is also called as net cell reaction now see net cell reaction is anodic oxidation cadmium solid here see this is the cadmium solid cadmium solid this two hydroxyl ion and two hydroxyl ion cancel what is remaining that is the twice of h2o here nio2 twice of h2o gives cadmium hydroxide and nickel hydroxide are the product form cadmium hydroxide and nickel hydroxide product form they are solid they are added to that electrodes they are added to that electrode and therefore cell reactions can be reversed they are available to take place the reverse reaction and here this is nothing but the working of nickel cell that is anodic oxidation cathodic reduction this is the net cell reaction it shows that cadmium undergoes oxidation and nickel dioxide undergoes the reduction and overall there is formation of cadmium hydroxide and nickel hydroxide emf of nickel cell is 1.4 volt emf of nickel cadmium cell is 1.4 volt that is nothing but the cell has longer life this cell 
this cell has has longer life longer life than dry cell dry cell से इसे लाइफ ज्यादा है यानी क्या लंबी चलती है ड्राई सेल से सो इट हैज लॉन्गर लाइफ देन दी ड्राई सेल दिस सेल दैट इज द निकेल कैडमियम सेल इज यूज इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वॉचेस कैलकुलेटर्स इट इज यूज इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वॉचेस इलेक्ट्रिक और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वॉचेस ऑल्सो दिस सेल इज यूज इन कैलकुलेटर्स calculators and this nickel cadmium cell is also used in the photographic equipment photographic equipment may be is cell ka use hota hai it is a rechargeable battery or it is a rechargeable cell dry cell so this is about the nickel cadmium cell now see the next one that is the mercury battery this mercury battery is also it is secondary dry cell this is also secondary dry cell it is also what that is the rechargeable this cell is also recharged the cell can be recharged by applying external emf which is greater than this cell therefore it is reversible cell secondary reversible cell is nothing but the mercury battery or mercury cell it is secondary reversible cell or it is what that is the mercury battery mercury battery consist of it consist of zinc anode zinc anode on which mercury is deposited so this is the zinc amalgam it is what that is the zinc amalgam is anode and what that is the hgo and carbon graphite that is act as cathode and concentrated alkali concentrated alkali is electrolyte electrolyte both electrodes are placed in the same electrolyte that is concentrated alkali is electrolyte that is nothing but the construction of this cell how it is constructed zinc amalgam and it zinc is mixed with mercury that zinc amalgam is anode then mercury oxide with carbon rod that is act as cathode and what that is the both electrodes are placed in the same electrolyte that is concentrated highly concentrated alkali used as electrolyte in this case and now see the reactions taking place during the working working of mercury battery that is reaction taking place at what that is the anode reaction taking place at anode that is zinc amalgam it undergoes the oxidation it reacts with what that is the alkali hydroxyl ion to produce zinc oxide and water loss of electron oxidation then at cathode mercury oxide react with water by gain of electron it undergoes reduction to gives the mercury means mercury is deposited at the cathode and zinc oxide is formed at the anode these are also added to that cathode and anode respectively and therefore they are available for the reverse reaction and hence the reaction Uh, that is the cell or this battery can be recharged this battery can be recharged once again you see that is zinc amalgam reacts with the hydroxyl ions of alkali to produce the zinc oxide and water with the loss of electron that is oxidation mercury oxide reacts with water by gain of electron to give the mercury it is undergoes reduction now see the net cell reaction overall cell reaction what is overall cell reaction anodic oxidation plus cathodic reduction means sum of anodic oxidation and cathodic reduction is nothing but the overall or net cell reaction so see here in this net cell reaction zinc amalgam anode mercury oxide cathode 
that produces the zinc oxide and mercury liquid this is a redox reaction obviously spontaneous so this undergoes the oxidation to form zinc oxide and this mercury undergoes the oxidation to form sorry reduction to form the mercury liquid is deposited there that is nothing but the reaction takes place during the working during the discharging now emf of mercury battery is 1.35 volt you don't forget emf of dry cell is 1.5 volt emf of nickel cell is 1.4 volt and emf of mercury battery is 1.35 volt here this cell is used in hearing aids hearing aids electric watches and pacemakers they use of what that is the mercury battery so this is about mercury battery and now we are to study another one important type of cell that is the fuel cell in this fuel cell chemical energy in fuel in fuel is directly converted directly converted into electrical energy into electrical energy so that is called as fuel cell so fuel used in this cell are h2 then what that is the methanol or what that is the uh, liquid hydrocarbons like the petrol diesel so they are also used as fuel you know we are using the generators to generate the electricity and in that generator fuel used is diesel or in some cases petrol so the